Welcome back, everyone. Did you know that 12% of all solid waste in Canada comes from renovations and demolitions? Our own Julia Grieve is looking to change that as she continues her eco cabin renovation. Let's take a look. Welcome back to the island. Are you ready to see the after of the bedrooms and the bathroom? Oh, it's so good. Come, come. No more dark and dingy bathroom. I think one of the main things that we focused on the whole time of doing this refresh was trying to keep and work with what was already here and try to make changes that were as sustainable as possible. So the biggest change in the bathroom would be the vanity. The vanity that we had in here before was really too small for the space. We've got a vintage vanity here that we got for $45 from Habitat for Humanity, painted it out with Benjamin Moore's Water's Edge, and then on top is a brand new countersink combo from Ikea. The tap here for Moen, which I love because look, sensors, right? Easy peasy. And also it's water efficient and a brand new throne, thank you very much. No pedals anymore, and it is water efficient as well. Less water in my holding tank, which is very important here on the island. Thrifted canisters, you always gotta make sure you got a little bit of thrift everywhere. And a little bit of rattan, you'll see this theme throughout the cottage. We decided to not put in a shower. It was only a two piece to begin with, and we decided to keep it that way. So we have put the shower outside. Now this was not a difficult project to do. We did have a plumber come out to the island. I would recommend that, but everything else you can manage yourself. The shower system is from Moen and it actually helps you save water. It's incredibly water efficient and I can actually set a timer on how long everybody's shower can be. So therefore, I don't have teenagers standing in the shower all day long at the cottage. It's technically an indoor shower head, but that's okay. When we close the cottage for the season, we will store it inside. The base of the shower is a repurposed skid. I got it from my local hardware store, painted it black so it looks really cool. Then we elevated it on rocks for proper drainage. And then the privacy wall, of course, some plants. You can't see anything here. Nothing to see here, my friends. <laughs> but again, very, very simple. Just a planter, put the plants in. Didn't need to build a whole room to have an outdoor shower. What do you want to be outside in the environment? Welcome to the principal bedroom, probably my favorite place. Getting it nice and bright feels awesome, but really the bed, the bed is so comfortable. We got new mattresses from Ikea, which for the record, they do come folded so you can put them on a boat very easily. I decided to make the duvets in each bedroom the same. Because they're such tiny bedrooms, because it's such a small space, I wanted them all to have a flow and a feel, yet each were unique because of the sheets and the pillows that I put with them. So you'll see all the stylish decor pieces, a lot of rattan, really pulling out that coastal vibe that I wanted. Okay, so the guest room, or my boys' room, however you wanna call it. Um, again, white all the way through the cottage, you'll see that. Bright floors, bright walls. These are the red beds, perfect for when you have kids visiting. This was all here at the cottage, but it was sort of in different rooms and we sort of grouped it all together, really trying to use what was already here and giving as much purpose as possible. Water stains be gone. Thankfully, the roof did not need to be repaired. All that needed to be done was painting the ceiling. So we kept most of the furniture in this room, just gave it a fresh coat of paint. And then of course, found an old cookie tin, which makes the perfect vase. No need to throw out the old tins. So that's the update so far. I cannot wait to show you more of the island refreshes. I am so impressed. <laughs> like you have done a lot of work up there. To see that transformation, that is incredible. <laughs> so pat yourself on the back. You know, when you're so close to a project, sometimes you can't see it. Just yes. I was like, oh my God, it looks so good. It looks so good. I mean, if you, when you saw it, when she first got there, I was like, oh, good luck, Julia. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good luck, honey. So let's talk about how we can reduce the amount of renovation waste uh, that we create when we are renovating. Like, what have you been doing? Okay, the number one thing when you want to do a renovation more sustainably is use what you already have. Mm -hmm. You do not need a degree in environmental science to understand that. But yeah. I don't think people think it's as simple as that. And it truly is as simple as that. Yeah. So the walls of the cabin were 
are wood mm -hmm. paneling. Mm -hmm. Slightly ug ugly, slightly <laughs> dated, but they were in perfect condition. Yeah. So we decided to paint them out. I know a lot of people would have said, oh, put some drywall, make it nice and fresh. You can do that with paint. And Trace, it was not that hard. Yeah. We used the Styx Benjamin Moore Primer. Okay. This is like primer on steroids, okay? Got it. This is like a bonder <laughs> primer. Yeah. And you don't have to do any sanding or anything like that. Good. One coat of the primer, and then the color that we used throughout the whole cottage was Simply White by Benjamin Moore. Got so it. you can see here, I've got one coat of the primer on, and then we just literally painted it out like this. Yeah. And going over it, I think we probably did two Two coats of paint and one coat of the primer and I'm oh look at me making a mess but anyways what you'll see is that this covers all of that dark there's no dark colors that come out it looked like drywall I know like I, that really painted well and we did the same thing in the bathroom yeah so the bathroom tiles my husband looked at them he's like oh god those got to come up and I'm like <laughs> those are going nowhere because you know why and it's the same tiling that I had in my kitchen in Scarborough when I was growing up Aww. and my sisters came to the cottage they're like oh my god I'm like I know it's still ugly so, <laughs> so we're gonna paint it so we did the exact same process put the, the sticks on the bottom so it could bond it and then did the simply white and look Tracy, honestly, like, look, oh, it is just amazing. Look at that. So it just, because the tiles themselves have texture when you yes. painted it, it was just amazing. That so is incredible. Easy. Okay, so paint obviously is magic, which is what Sharon Greg yeah. has been telling yeah. us for years. But what else can we do uh, to help the environment and still be stylish with our decor? Okay, if it's not something you already have, maybe yeah. it's something somebody else already had. Okay. Right? One man's trash is another one's treasure. Yes. And this is everything. So thinking like kitchen cupboards, doors, vanity, that vanity I got from yes. Habitat for Humanity, yeah. $45, painted it. It was amazing. Right. But when you are have a goal of being more sustainable, mm -hmm. don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Yeah. You're never going to be perfect, and that is okay. Right. I needed a new toilet. Yeah, you I couldn't, couldn't do I just it. couldn't do it. The, like yeah. the pump on the floor, like it just was not going to happen. I get it. So I needed a new toilet, <laughs> got a new toilet, water efficient, thank you very much. Yes. But there are things that you're going to need. So if your goal is maybe, you know, 40%, 50% more yeah. sustainable, excellent. Yeah, just try. Just Don't try. hold yourself to like a, a, an insane standard and you're just going to give up. You like do. do your best. That's what happens. It's like, oh, I can't do this. I'm going to do nothing. Yeah, no, exactly. that is the worst thing to do. 10%, 1% better will have a huge impact. As soon as I saw that pedal on the toilet, that I'm like, oh yeah, you needed a new yeah, toilet. Totally. You needed a new <laughs> toilet. You're loud. Okay, let's talk a little bit about repurposing fabrics and te textiles. Okay, textile waste I can talk about till the cows come home. I yes. talk about it all the time, but most oftenly I'm referring to clothing, right. right? Upcycle your clothing, you know, make a new sweater, do this. Mm. What people don't realize is 10 million tons of textile waste is in landfill every year in North America alone. That's brutal. Okay, and a big part of that is bedding, sheets, yeah. pillows, comforters, duvets. I mean, back in the day, you had one duvet. Now Absolutely. you've got like Christmas and New Year's, and good, you know, spring yeah, yeah, yeah. sheets, spring, and, summer. right? You're changing the sheets, which is great and fun, yes. but try to recycle it, not throwing it out. Mm -hmm. So the, this bedding was already at the cottage when I got there. I got mm -hmm. it, it's beautiful. It's not quite the vibe I wanted, right. so I'm not gonna <laughs> throw it out, but what I'm going to do is create pillows with it. I've got modern pillows that I put on the beds nice. that I source at Marshalls. I'm gonna make vintage ones out of this textile and really give it that. That's cute. Right? I, yeah. I sometimes find that when you're using a lot of vintage things, you need to have the chic or it ends up too much shab, right? You don't want too much shabby chic. Right. I mean, too much shabby, you want the combo. Yes. So when you've got something new, pairing it with something vintage really keeps that character. Really, really good way of looking at it and thinking about it. So now let's talk about reusing some of the knickknacks you might find around the house. The stuff that often goes into a yes. landfill or for us, like on our retaining wall and picked up by someone else in the neighborhood. Do you guys do <laughs> totally, that? Of course, I love that. I'm the, yeah. one, I'm the one picking it up. Yes, yes. Like full, like we did a full TV. Uh, like the whole TV. I love it. Someone came along on a bike and took the TV. You betcha, baby. You I betcha. Like, oh God, I, I, I love that. Oh, that's Absolutely. amazing. So what should we be doing? So the thing is, if it's not going to be used for its original purpose, mm -hmm. get creative with it. Yeah. Like, I adore this percolator, okay? I love it. Yes. It came with the cottage. I bet we all know this one. Everyone <laughs> knows know that. I know I've seen it. But as I say, who has time for a pot of coffee to percolate these days? Right. It's like, like takes an hour. <laughs> so I'm not going to throw it out. I'm not going to use it as a coffee pot, but what we, I use it for is fresh drinking water. Yes. So people say, oh, you know, do you have drinking water? It's sitting on the counter. Yeah. It's great. Same with like cookie tins and tins. They make great vases. 
Yeah, beautiful. So thinking of different uses for your knickknacks. Yeah. Like Trace, the salt and pepper shaker there. Like okay. how cute are they? Okay. These are but adorable. I know, but any chef in the world would tell me I need freshly ground pepper. So I'm not really going to use this. <laughs> but you can use them for different things. It's a, it's a room deodorizer. I oh. put in there baking soda and you sprinkle it all sprinkle, around, sprinkle, sprinkle. vacuum it up, uh, totally. Very good, Jules. You're so good and always thinking your cabin is looking fantastic. And we're so excited to see the renovation as it continues. Oh. So bring it on. Let's go to break, everyone. More coming up. Thank you. So, so, so.